So one thing we have seen over the last couple of years is what we like to call TDS, right? Like, so you hear it all over the place on YouTube. I didn't come up with the term, but it's a great term because honestly, it, it speaks volumes to people who are affected by this. And by TDS, I mean Trump derangement syndrome, right? So Trump derangement syndrome has been heavily afflicted through many people in the entertainment space. And one of the people that I want to talk about today is Eric Larson. Now, Eric Larson, I spoke about before when I spoke about Image Comics. Now, Image Comics is literally co-founded by Eric Larson, and he is one of the most absolute fucking worst people I think I've ever seen on a Twitter feed. I mean, this guy is literally obsessed and insane about Trump. He is so obsessed to the point where he literally tweeted that America can only heal. Okay, this is great. America can only heal if Donald Trump is quote unquote executed for treason on, on the White House lawn. Yes. Yes, he said that. Eric Larson said that America will only begin healing, you heard me right, if Donald Trump is offed basically for treason on the White House lawn. This man is literally the definition of insane, and we're going to get into it, guys. So before we do, of course, if you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you think of today's story, and let's get into the video, guys. All right, guys, today's article comes from some good old bounding into comics, and it says, Image Comics co-founder Eric Larson says America will only begin healing if Donald Trump is offed for treason on the White House lawn. <laughs> this fucking guy, this guy's nuts, man. According to Image Comics co-founder Eric Larson, the most important element needed for America to heal and move on from its current divisions is for former U.S. President Donald Trump to be executed for treason on the White House lawn. The Savage Dragon creator shared a solution for America's current ills in response to the FBI's August 8th raid of Trump's Mar-a-Lago residence in search of, 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 of purported documents he is alleged to have taken from the White House upon his end of 2016 to 2020 term. It says, according to the warrant which gave permission for the raid, as assigned by U.S. Magistrate Judge Bruce Reinhardt and later obtained by Breitbart, the federal law enforcement agency executed a sweep of Trump's property in search of any items that could potentially be in violation of the United States Code statutes pertaining to gathering, transmitting, or losing uh, defense information, concealment, removal, or mutilation generally, information and destruction, alteration, or falsification of records in federal investigations and bankruptcy. That is a long... F oh, my God. <laughs> it says, items looked for by the FBI include any documents with classification markings, along with any containers, boxes, including other contents, in which such documents are located, information including communications in any form regarding the retrieval, storage, or transmission of national defense information or classified material, any government or any pre uh, presidential records created during his presidency, and any evidence of the knowing alteration, destruction, or concealment of any government and or presidential records of any documents with classification marking. Following a full week, in a day in particular of retweeting various pundit takes and news developments relating to the raid, Larson took to his personal Twitter on the evening of August 11th to opinion Donald Trump being executed for treason on the White House lawn is the closer America needs to start the healing process. He literally tweeted that. Okay? This man is that insane that he literally tweeted that. This is Trump derangement syndrome. This is Trump derangement syndrome to the max. If you need an example about what TDS is, look no further than Eric Larson. This is exactly what it is. His whole life is around Trump. It has to be. How could you let someone invade your mind that much that this is what you're tweeting about? It says, wondering if Trump stealing classified documents about nuclear weapons is at last a tipping point where the GOP finally tries to distance themselves from the guy or if they'll attempt to paint that as totally cool, he continued. He's obsessed. Like, I, I don't understand. This man is literally obsessed. Following up this sentiment the next day, the comic creator would add treason is trending on Twitter as hashtags go. That's a pretty solid one. So like I said, if you need an example of what TDS is, look no further than Eric Lawson. His entire Twitter feed for, for a guy who does comic books, his entire Twitter feed is pretty much political, which is crazy. And you know what? We talk about that. We talk about the fact that everybody who works in comic books, American comic books today, almost everybody, not everybody, but almost everybody, are so woke or so politically driven, they want to have jobs in politics. That's what they want to do. They don't want to be working in comics. They don't want to be working in entertainment. They want a job in politics. But the problem is, they can't get a job in politics because they're crazy. 
<laughs> you know, like I'm not saying that politicians are are sane because they're not. Most of them are insane. But the fact of the matter is, these people suck so much they can't even get jobs in politics. So they're stuck basically inserting their own political ideas into their comics. And don't think that Image Comics doesn't do this. They definitely do this. Eric Larson most definitely does this, and he's going to keep doing it. But he obviously has some sort of like PTSD with Trump. Some sort of insane. I mean, look at this. To write this stuff, you have to have PTSD with Trump. You have to. Trump has to run your life in order for you to want to tweet this stuff. It's insane. And as I mentioned, if you go to his Twitter feed, so look, this is his Twitter feed here, right? If you go to his Twitter feed, it's all political stuff for the most part. Literally, it's all political stuff. This is how you know this man wishes that he could have a job in politics. He wishes he could. He's talking about retweeting Torka Carlson stuff. He's talking about retweeting more mar lotto stuff about how it had cameras and everywhere. Like, this man, this is all, look, Rob DeSantis, he's literally, oh, he's literally all about politics. Bro, you are, you are a comic book writer, creator, artist, whatever you are, you work in comic books, and your entire Twitter feed is political stuff. Now, you tell me, where do you wish you could fall? Because it looks to me that you wish, like, you could have a job in politics. And Eric Larson, I got to tell you, man, I don't really think you're going to be able to land a job in politics considering that you just wish for the death of a president. That's exactly what you just did. Now, due to free speech, you're able to do that. You're able to say that, you know, with little to minimal backlash because you're not targeting the guy, right? So if he would have said that about Joe Biden, maybe somebody might have came after you. But because you're targeting Trump and all these social media activists want to pretend like they hate and now it's acceptable and you can wish the death of someone. This is that double standard nonsense that I hate to see because it's really bullshit. It really is. Like, these people know that if someone else would have said something like that about Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, or whoever else is in the Democratic Party, you know it would have been a shitstorm. You know that. You know it would have been all over the news. You would have been talking about this guy is an incel. This guy is a, is a domestic terrorist. This guy is whatever you want to call him. They would have been calling him all kinds of buzzwords. But because he's talking about Trump, all of a sudden, it's perfectly fine, and we just need to be quiet and just let it happen. But I got to say, you know what? It's bullshit. It's honestly bullshit. Like, bro, you work in comic books. Stop pretending like you work in, in politics. Calm yourself down. We get it, okay? You hate all Republicans. We get it. We get it. We get it. Like, Republicans are rent-free in your head. We understand. We get it. But you still, you're, you're supposed to be doing comic books, bro. Stick to comic books, in my opinion. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you think of today's story. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.